Hi. Um, I just got my hair cut, uh, like, a few hours ago. So it's really cool. And I got the red put back in. Which oh, goes all the way much. back. Yeah? Pretty funky. Um, okay, I'm going to do this look for you. It's my birthday look. Um, so it's blues, blacks, oh, tan, smoky, blah, blah, blah. Um, as you can see here. And I'm going to put some white in here, in there, and um, a bit of mascara and tweak with it. So you just basically get the gist of it. So, put on a paint pot first. Mine's um, Painterly by MAC. And then the first thing you're going to do is get Blue by Barry M, which is the Dazzle Dust range that they do. Number 81 is this one here. Hope you can see that. That's going to annoy me all night. Okay. So let me just zoom in here so you can sort of see what I'm doing. I'm really far away again. Okay, so with this one, you're going to start and leave a gap there. Going in. So you just want to put this all in to your crease and just take it all the way back. Make sure you get a good even amount of colour on there. I beg to report that my heap of hinges was so unsatisfactory because the machines were really calibrated this morning. I was put on to shovel in court. So I'm not talking very much. And uh, yeah, so. So you just like to get a good layer of that and it goes to your crease. Sorry if you can hear my background, I'm watching Schindler's List. So I'm trying to like, not cry, because it's such a sad film. And there goes my phone. Okay. So just take that going all the way back there, so you just get a good base on there for you. Sorry my camera's a bit shit. crap today, but I'm just not rushing, but i got things to do and people coming around. Okay. So I'm just going to clean that brush. Okay, just clean that off, because I'm going to use that for my white highlighter. And then the next thing you're going to do is take Silver Ring by MAC. Which is that one there, which is just the box there and the silk colour. Then you want to get your big fluffy blending brush. And I have black on me. And you just want to load that up on there. And obviously, like I always say, it's always best to get these dry before you buy them. Cool, quite like my hair. Okay, as dry as you can. So then you're just going to work this in the crease, mainly in the outer corner. So you just keep it above that blue, and then when you've got most of the colour concentrating in that outer corner, you just want to bring it forward to fill in there. It's always best to start off with a lighter grey colour because if you go straight in for a black, then um, I can't think what I was going to say. Um, yeah, because if you go into with black and then it's too dark, you know, it's pretty screwed. Where the heck have I just put my silver? Oh, it's there. Okay. So just smoke that into the side and just bring it forward so you get a nice even coverage on the colour there. Okay, and then what we're going to do now is take um, Black Tie by MAC, which is a really sparkly black fun colour. Just load that up in there and then just put it over the top where you put that silver, but mainly concentrating it in the crease and just lightly dab it on and then mix in. So you get a nice folding of colour there. Hello. Um, and then obviously you just fold it in. Sorry if I'm a bit far away. It'd be easy if you could actually see what the heck I'm doing. Then you want to get a smaller brush. 
and take your black tie, take your small brush, put that on there. And what you want to do is just load that up and put the black on top and make it darker where you want it, but mainly concentrating it in that outer corner. It wants you. And just above the crease. So I'm just trying to make this as even as I can. Okay, so you just get that sort of effect there. And we're just gonna blend everything. Blend, blend. Okay. Next thing you want to do is get a um, highlighting colour for your brow bone. Mine is Nylon by MAC, which is that top colour there. And you just want to lay that up on a brush and just dab it into your brow. And it also blends out any harshness that you've got in the black. And then just bring it forward. So you just semi-circle it out really. It's brilliant. I really like this look, it's like a really nice pretty look. Okay, then you want to get your blending brush again and you want to get um, blue colour. I'm sure I've used this one. Which is clarity. And at least you're just going to dab that on top of your black to just add like a little tinge of blue to it. Okay. Um, next thing you're going to do is take, um, you can either take the blue from here, or you can take this blue, which is just like a an eye pencil, so shindler. And you just underline your bottom lash line with that colour. So it just adds a bit of a pop to the colour that and the look that you're going for. Then the next colour you're gonna get, you just pull it out. This basically is going with the dress on it, which I'll show you in a minute. It's called expensive pink. And this is gonna go on that little inner bit that we kept clear. Got it? So you're just going to get that expensive thing and just responsible for everything that goes on here. dab that on top to and, and just slowly blend it in with that blue. Anyway, screw it. Okay, so after you've applied that expensive pink, you're just going to um, get a white, which is number eight by Barry M, which is just a plain simple white, and you're just going to put that in like the tear duct area. Hardest thing to open up. Um, okay, I've got some of this in the lid, so that's fine. And you literally just put it in the crease and just under your lash line. Nothing, nothing. You're just working it into that corner. Oh, and people are here, I think. Yep, people are here. Brilliant. Good, going upstairs. So I finish this one. So you have that white underneath it, it just makes everything pop. 
Okay, and then if you just 